Hey guys, this is Matthias. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the main reasons why I enjoy smurfing as much as I've been doing the last uh, last year, I would say. And basically, it gives me a chance to see what it's like to actually play this game for most experienced players. During the gameplay of this video, you will see me flying over the same base uh, throughout the entire video. However, in the first three and a half minutes of the video, see I have some of these free slags and after the three and a half minute mark, some, somewhere around there, I uh, have uh, reset my computer only to come back to the same area again and continue. And yeah, this is the base I'm talking about. It's called Bittle Eastern Depot. So yeah, there is a lot of players that have expressed their frustration over how hard it is to fly and uh, how long and how much time you have to uh, sacrifice in order to be good enough to do well in an ESF. Now part of the air-to-air -air gameplay in Planza 2 is very advanced, but for the air-to-ground gameplay it, isn't, it doesn't require that same amount of skill, but it's still far from easy. And even though there's going to be a lot of players who might tell you that it's so uh, simple and so easy to farm with an ESF and air-to-ground requires no skill, normally the players that say that is a player who can't fly himself, so don't pay any attention to those guys. So some of you watching this now are probably wondering how is it that I'm not taking any damage from this anti-air turret for example or yeah just generally not taking more damage than I am. I've lost a little bit of health here and aside from this uh, very anti-air turret there are also quite a number of maxes by the spawn room and uh, also a couple of lock-on heavies. Now, skill aside, there are a couple of other factors that play in, uh, into how you become successful at what you see me doing here. And it is, uh, one of the most important things is to find the right place, find the right fight. If the population balance is a little bit wrong, then you will have uh, either too many people being able to spawn anti-air and focus on you, which is of course bad, or if it favors your faction, then of course there's not going to be anything to kill. You also want to, at least in the beginning, you want to have access to a landing pad or some such so that you can get ammo. Uh, my ammo capacity is decent, but yeah, I still go back there quite a bit. You also want to be able to break line of sight of whatever is shooting back at you. You want to have uh, either some buildings or some hills or mountains or whatnot. Just remember, when you're using the environment in order to break line of sight like this, you're forced to fly very low, and flying low in itself is very risky, uh, especially if there are any nearby tanks. But basically anything on the ground is dangerous for you. Heavy assaults, sunders, lightnings, yeah, everything. So of course all of this was recorded before I revealed that uh, Bad Boy in Blue is one of my characters. But there were still several locations when, especially uh, some of the more experienced players, some bad rank 100 would spawn an air-to-air -air ESF only to hunt me down and to make sure that I couldn't continue farming him and his outfit or him and his friends or whatever. Uh, that happened every now and then and... Uh, yeah, this is something you have to expect if you continue farming in the same area. It was also quite interesting to see what kind of rage tells you would get from people when they don't expect you to be a Planza 2 content creator who always have shadow play activated. You're not gonna see any rage tells in this video though. So 
So as I killed that infiltrator, I noticed that there was a heavy assault standing with his rocket launcher out next to him. That's why I quickly have to burn away from there. I, it, it is sometimes very tempting to go for that second kill as well, but I felt that the risk was a little bit too high there. Now, I do believe that it was a lock-on, and uh, if that's the case, then I would have, of course, been able to kill him. But at the time, I just uh, reacted on instinct, so yeah, I didn't want to be decimated again. Is there any way to check your max kill stats? How many maxes you killed? Can you can you check that somewhere? Uh, I don't know. So anyway, I'll make this into a seven minute some such uh, video, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I would say thank you all for watching, and bye for now. I'm bored of doing always the same shit, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've liberated the facility. Sometimes, because I know, I don't know, I see a couple of things, yeah, and I know, okay, if they can make, I could lose them all, yeah, but I'm so bored of thinking. Sold it down.